So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. Yeah. That was our mistake. Which is terrible. Tried to go to the motel. I replayed the beginning exactly the same. Picked the other choices. The cop absolutely hated me. And, um, basically tried to go to the motel. And you can just talk to Max and stuff. And it's not fair. They should put us in jail. What if the family are werewolves and they're just turning people into werewolves? I don't know. I'm so confused. We'll figure this out. Oh no, Max got turned. It's all our fault. We came one day early. Good morning. What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Fuck you. You might kind of want to be nice, though. I don't know. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max, Max he's my boyfriend. He's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. You didn't expect me to be a nice person, uh, did you? Why are we going to hack his quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm -hmm. We would have gone to the motel and then it had to sleep in the car. Okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait. Hack it? Like, Chris Hackett? Don't Hackett. change the subject. Oh my god, he's T. Hackett. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Obviously. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? Can you just stop being a dick and tell me what's going Please. on? Just stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Oh my god, I swear, every line I'm saying, everything I'm saying is exactly what they're saying. Is Max alive? <laughs> See? I feel like I'm going crazy! I mean, you shot him.
Hit him in the face. I don't know. Should I? No. I don't want to. He can shoot me. Let's go. Hey. Hey, you asshole. You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. You okay? Max. Are you okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm kind of all mixed up, but more or less intact, I think. Laura? Yeah. Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? Yeah, so our host Don't was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly Don't couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The Pincher, the blade, three-hole punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? The sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill, that's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Crazy. Like, what about the other cops? Get dressed. What's he giving you? It's not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? We don't need your permission, Dick. <laughs> I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. Exactly. Yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. Poor Max. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's get go. the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey, stop struggling. Hey, leave him alone. Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up. Fuck you. I said shut up. Hey. Hey, you can't treat us like this. You're hurting him. Hey. Okay. Okay. Think, Laura. Think. There's got to be something in here you can use. I mean, she seems skinny enough. I would just try and squeeze through the bars. Can you do anything? Oh, the world. No. Okay. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Spoon. 
Ew. Spoon? To be useful. Like, for example, it would take a long time, but if the bars are... have been, like... They weren't like this, but if it was, like, bars with the... Sis. You know, angle thing, you could try and get that that way, or... I don't know. Just stab in the face with a spoon. Oh, this is a spork. Terrible call. Sort of lever. Oh, maybe like a spoon I just found? But like, what am I gonna put in there? The tarot card it is for That's what I'm wondering is, do these characters realize that they're finding a tarot card? And who are we during the fortune teller thing? You know? I have realized that I've missed a few tarot cards, it's my fault. But, oh well. Apparently, I've looked it up. You can't find all the tarot cards in one go sometimes. Or you can find all the tarot cards in one go, but you can't um, uh, play all the visions. Watch it, man. I lose to... easily. Give me a break. Do a place where I find everything and then. Or find all the tarot cards at least. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Yeah. Sure. Second, you get out. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey! What the fuck is that supposed to mean, asshole? Hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back! That's too bad. Fuck! Let's go the door. Binky Bucky. Binky Bucky. So how'd it go? How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but... I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in 8th grade cab. Maybe. Really, Could though? Be. What happened? He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and... where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and... I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Nope. Uh, I was cheap not been rude. Written, I guess. Hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whip it? No, sadly it's, it's Hackett. not. Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like the Chris Hackett? Yes. Who's the Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? God, does he have memory loss? Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? I mean, 
mean, I thought they were human hunting humans at first. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? Crime shows. So many crime shows. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever. This isn't forever, Max. Y you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? <laughs> Might as well just accept it, right? No! Oh, fuck that! <laughs> think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. Oh, we're gonna mention how he didn't get into college. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... Gonna... Um... What? I'm gonna what? Can't go to college, guy. I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? Maybe. I can't believe you didn't tell me. I, I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck. We've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? I kind of want to be a little sarcastic and uh, see what happens. Maybe something like, sorry I lied to you and led you on into thinking we were going to college together in the fall? That'd be a good start. You see, I knew you'd be like this. Oh, fuck that. No, you lied. Just suck it up and apologize or this is going to be way maybe that was long the wrong ass place. incarceration. I mean, they don't even seem like okay. they're good together, but that's just me. I'm sorry. Happy? Not really. I feel bad now. <laughs> okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. So you ran into the thing. You acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal. You remember that? Yeah. It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah. That was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? No, he is. Just... Well, he's got to be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... Nobody else around. Close for the season? Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, mm -hmm. and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a. A dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping like into Like Nick, you. and he's healed, which means, oh what no. What is messed up about that is, Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey. Okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? <laughs> you got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. 
Because it is yeah, werewolves. So. Oh my god, it is right. werewolves. So, you know, full moon. Yes. Yeah. What if? Uh. Okay. No. Stop. I'm just saying. You know, maybe there's a slight chance. It was a werewolf. It was. It has to be. Are you out of? What happened? Goddamn mine. Oh. <laughs> He's Werewolves? Hilarious. Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said. I wanna. No, I don't wanna. I wanna see what the past was that I changed. Or was upset that yeah, he begrudgingly apologized. Whatever. Literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you you got anything better? I mean, like zombies, aliens, vampires. Time hopping Draculas. Exactly. I want answers. Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again. You're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would it really be so crazy with all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick, with the thing on the roof? Mm -hmm. Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are those are just campfire stories. Like there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Did she just show just him his uh, her eye? Side for yourself, Ew. You believe me or not, I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I wonder, oh my god. I'm so, I'm 100%. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot. As much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement. What happened to Max? We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. We're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, a plan. We keep saying that. But it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT. Tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth. Okay, okay, mm, so yeah. Just Why not? one problem at a time. All right, we we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. I don't know. I don't really want to, like, attack him or anything like that. Because, like, okay. Let's say Chris is a werewolf, right? He's protecting his brother, right? So, I mean, there's... I feel bad for him, but... Again, I'm I'm probably not gonna go down the violent route. Okay, so 
Let's say we get on his good side. What then? French and mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. <laughs>